Hello YouTube, this is Carmen and I'm back with another video today. And today I will be making lotion. And the kind of lotion I'm going to be making is a rose lotion. So yes, I have on my plastic cap and um, the ingredients that I'm going to be using is my lotion base. I have some glycerin. This is the isopala, um, I cannot say this name, but this is good for when you making um, your creams and lotions and hand creams and shampoos. I'm also going to be using some, um, uh, it's a preservative, it starts with a P. Um, and it's, uh, whenever you making um, anything with oil products, um, fires with lotion, it's best to put a preservative in here I put the name of the preservative down in the um, description box. I'm also going to add some rose hip oil. I have some stearic acid just to uh, make the lotion thick so it won't be watery. And I also have some rose oil that I had already infused with oil in it. So what we're gonna do, um, jump right into it. I have my face mask and my plastic gloves. So first I'm going to hand sanitize my hand. And I'm going to put my mask on. I'm putting my gloves on. So what I am using is, uh, it's a flat top, uh, flat, flat bed, it's like a griddle. And the reason why I'm using this, and I'm using a steel bowl, because this is thin, and I'm gonna point down, and you can see the flat top um, griddle that I am using. I'm gonna push the camera back some, cool. And the reason why I'm doing it like this is because for one, I feel like this. Whenever you making cosmetics or anything that's handmade cosmetics grade, it's better to do it on either get a separate um, stove griddle where you can go to Walmart um, and Target and get that. And, and, and that'll work just fine. My stove is for what I cook on. It's, it's what I cook my food on. But whenever I'm making um, grade A cosmetics, I like to separate it from the two, which means I won't be shooting videos showing y'all how I met, melt my waxes and how I melt, you know, heat do phase A, my heating process. All that would be done on this flat top griddle not on my stove. My stove is made for cooking, which is cooking food. This will be used for when I'm making my um, cosmetic grade product. So let's jump into it. The first thing is better to do because I will be using shea butter and I'm adding shea butter to the lotion because it is good for the body and it has all the vitamins um, A, B, and E in it. And that now is good enough. Put that to the side. Next, I'm going in with my um, stearic acid. It's better to go in with your as uh, with your wax products first, like shea butter and stearic acid. Acid that way it can melt down um, quicker. If you're going to do the um, heating process with lotion, it's best to do ratio to ratio. And that means to, um, if the, the, the lotion has to be at the, almost at the same temperature as the waxes, which means you cannot pour the waxes in if the lotion is cold, because what will happen, the wax will harden back up and then you'll find yourself having to melt the whole product again. So that's the um, stearic acid. So now what I'm going to do is just uh, 
wait until this melt. And when this um, fully melts down, I be I will come right back, and that's when I'll be able to pour the lotion base in. Okay, so now I'm back, and as you can see, my oil has um, melted down. So what I'm going to do is cut the temperature down some. And what I'm about to do is now go in with my lotion base. So as I go in with my lotion base, what I'm not going to do is just dump it in there. Because keep in mind, this is at a uh, at room temperature, so it's kind of cool. So it's best to, you know, go in and um, stir it as you go along, like tamper it. And if, if you do it like that, then the rest of your lotion, when you put your lotion in, it should be fine. Uh, for the one, the, for the ones that just tapped into the video, uh, my name is Carmen, and I'm going to put the name of my business down in the prescription box and on across the screen. And the name of my business is Coco's Lush Beauty Bar, and I own and that is my website, and I make um, body butters, shea butters, um, whips, soap whips. So I'm going to add some more lotion to this. Oh shoot, my light just went out. Can you um, cut my light back on for me? It's right here. It's dark red. Mm-hmm. And just hit that knob right there. Mm -mm, the button right there. That's the button. So, okay, and form it down some. So I'm gonna add a little bit uh, more lotion. Mm -mm. Let me adjust the light a little bit. Okay. It's all through that panel. All right. Well, now I'm about gonna pipe it just half a flow. The reason why I chose to work with lotion base is because for one, it's easy uh, and I can, you know, do as much as I want to do with it versus me. I'm going to just keep it real with you. It's much cheaper because when I ante up on, on how much money it was going to cost me to uh, spend on just the ingredients itself just to make the lotion base itself at this time it was like a little bit too much money so what i decided to do was just order some lotion base that way it'll already be made for me and i can just add whatever it is i wanted to add to it so now what i'm going to do is i'm going in not that i'm gonna go in with this i'm gonna scratch out the um glycerin because i don't need that i'm going in with my rose hip oil and my own um, rose oil that's infused just to uh, give it more of a moisturizing and it's going to smell like actual roses i'm going 
going to stir it. Now, before I'm going to cut this off, and the reason why I'm cutting it off because I'm going to go in with my preservative. But the thing about it is that with my preservative, I have to wait till the temperature drop down because if you put that preservative in there, what it's going to do is going to kill uh, out what it's supposed to protect your lotion with. I'm going to color it, um, this lotion too. And as you can see, it has a nice thick consistency to it. So what I'm going to do is let this cool down before I could go in with my preservative because the worst thing you could do is put a preservative inside, um, inside, of, inside of the product when it's heated and it need to be at least 140, you know, below temperature before you can do that. Because if you do it, you will stop the process of it, you know, keeping your product safe and everything else. So once I let this cool down, then I will show y'all how I go in with the preservative and I'll be back. Okay, so now I'm back and I'm going to move it up, move it over so y'all can really see. Excuse me. So what I'm going to do is... I'm going to go in with my preservative because now it's um, in a cool down room temperature. And you always, it's, I think it's called Fiona, Fiona. It's it's on I'm, like I said I'm gonna put the name of this um the um the preservative down in the prescription box. But you anytime you selling anything that's homemade, it's best to use a preservative to protect your product because the worstest thing you can do is send it out to somebody and by the time they get it or they continuously stop using it and then all of a sudden it goes bad that's that's where you're gonna have the problem at so now um what i'm about to do is i'm sorry my daughter-in-law in the back talking but i already put some roses at the bottom of the um of my bottles they already been sanitized so what i'm gonna do is put the lotion in here and get it over to my piping So I'm only doing a little bit at a time because the worst, you don't want to waste none of your products. So it's going in my pipe it. Okay, so now I got that and I'm gonna put this on. Okay. And I got my pipe off of Amazon. So I'm going to stick it down as far as I can. And there we go. basically this is i'm sorry this is how the lotion would sit at the bottom because i wanted the lotion to sit on top and i'm only gonna sprinkle a little bit of rose on top tap it And there you go. The roses are sit on top. 
So I'm going in again, pull my pipe it out slow. Okay, it just, I just lost it. Hold on one second. drip down some and basically where the roses is on top at I just want to just lay and there we go it's not wrong I'm just lay it in there I'm gonna wipe the top around it off And basically, this is my rose lotion. You can see the roses, the bed of roses at the bottom. And I also put some in the middle. So let's go and kick into gear and we're going to do another one. I just wanted to come on here and show you guys the end results. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take pictures of the product and post it at the end of the video. Also with the labels I'm going to make. That way y'all can see the turnout. But I want to come on here and just show y'all how the new lotion I'll be making. And it's the rose um, lotion and it looks something like this. So um, like, comment, mm -mm, and subscribe. And also, too, please watch the towards the end of the video because I will be taking pictures and um, showing y'all the labels and everything on the product. Thank you, and y'all have a blessed day.